Gretchen Felker Martin, trans identified male and author of Manhunt, said tweets, quote, I'm a woman and a professional author, and I've never written anything without at least one rape scene in it. Cutting it out of the world would be like pretending disease doesn't exist or that people never starve to death or get murdered by a loved one. Mama, I know I'm a demon. It ain't nothing she could do but pray for me. There is somebody called Gretchen Felker Martin, who is apparently some sort of transgender author of nonfiction. The writings are horrifying. And it is, he tweeted at Scumbelievable, again, Gretchen Felker Martin. If you're sick of gender plague novels written by transphobic dipshits, try my novel, Manhunt, written by a trans women, woman for a trans audience. Trans dykes fall in love and fucking murder turfs. Feral men maraud in the wilderness. J.K. Rowling dies, etc. Again. In the art, in the culture, they infuse a level of fear and a level of propaganda to keep those in line and to send a very strong message of what will happen. If you try to speak up and try to fight back, it is very clear. And these are the most oppressed people on earth. These are people, they just wanna pee. They just don't always want to be safe. They just don't want to be harassed. And yet they keep their foot on women's necks. They have taken over female identities. They have stripped the feet. It is literally living in the skin of women wanting to become women. And they remind women constantly, we can do womanhood better than you. I've been called transphobic multiple times because there was a trans wannabe female on here who decided that it, I will refer to whatever it is as it, decided to wear a bikini shaking its ass and degrading women. And they obviously don't know what it is to be a female. And then I've had them tell me that they're the same as me. I'm not kidding. We are not the same. I don't want to look like you, act like you, or think like you. Trust me, no one's trying to be you. I'm not kidding. If me simply existing makes you feel threatened and degraded, then you have way deeper issues than just transphobia. Well, to these trans identified males or trans women, womanhood is about it's relational, it's about how other people perceive you. It's about performing femininity. It's about fuckability, attractiveness to men. The ultimate prize is being attractive to men. And another prize to affirm their identity is fucking one of two highly coveted people, which is the heterosexual man and the homosexual woman. If they can score one of these two rare trophies, that is the ultimate validation. Okay, let me make this very simple for you. Gay men like men. Straight men like women. I know 100,000% that I don't look like a man. Obviously, the only men who are attracted to me are those who like women. Every single guy I've ever been with identifies as straight. I highly doubt any gay man would want anything to do with me. No matter how much you want to deny it, I don't like anything like this. Gay men want a man, not little old me. The only people saying this are women who are intimidated by me and men who are upset because they like me. So class, what did we learn today? Being attracted to me doesn't make you gay. It just means you have good taste. In the ultimate handmaiden virtue signaling, a bunch of publishing outlets and critics have heralded this piece as, quote, a modern horror masterpiece 
said Carmen Maria Machado, best-selling author, author of In the Dream House, quote, keeps up a relentless velocity while just being plain fun as hell by Tori Peters, best-selling author of Detransition Baby. Feltner Martin's horror chops are top-notch. Publishers Weekly. Gretchen Felker Martin, trans-identified male and author of Manhunt, tweets, quote, I mean, what's uniquely horrible about rape? Why is it so much less acceptable to portray than, say, murder or war? Your understanding of art's power and function isn't really compatible with talking about this any further. To which an adult human female at heart-shaped womb replied, what's uniquely horrible about rape? How about 98.9% .9 of rapists being men and almost all victims being women and girls with only 1.7% of those rapists ever being prosecuted? How about the little girls married off as a child of child brides who end up falling pregnant at age 10? And let me interject on my own that most of those children or a large percentage of them will be maimed or worse die during childbirth. And then the children who were born either dying with them or growing up to live some heinous life with a child predator. Julia Groferor says, shut up, turf. Nobody's talking to you. They are being allowed to openly shut you up. The best way to get a population of people to turn a blind eye to the harm, destruction, and targeted abuse of some of its own members is to convince that population that those people, that that subsection deserves it because they are evil and bad. This is how the Holocaust was able to happen. This is how tragedies like the Rwandan genocide are able to happen and no one says or does anything. This is how Jim Crow was able to happen and no one says or does anything. <laughs> Gonna catch me a rabbit. All right, Mr. Rabbit, I'll stack you coming and put on them hands or else I'll blitzkrieg you. And now, now you march. You can go on, Rabbit. Oh, no, you don't. We have convinced everybody that turfs are evil and bigoted and that they should be shut up at all costs because we know that TERF's talking is a major threat to transgender ideology because all it takes is for one reasonable person to hear it for more than five seconds and they'll be peaked. Let's read a few excerpts of this piece of propaganda, which is meant to instill fear in adult human females who are bold enough to try to stand up for themselves. It says, quote, once the initial lava flow of symptoms cooled and hardened into the shrieking ravenous things that seethed like lice across the entire American supercontinent, something clicked on inside whatever remained of the man's brain and he started looking for something to rape, maim, and leave half dead like those wasps that laid their eggs in living tarantulas. The good news was that pregnancy was shorter now, much shorter. The bad news that the babies ate their way out. So basically any woman that is impregnated will be destroyed by her pregnancy. This is from the creativity a trans identity of a trans woman. I have never heard of a woman, a real woman, a real woman, a real woman, because you are a fake one, ever make up something like this. And when I did a search, the word rape appears in 40 pages of 300 something pages. 40. 
Let's read page 30. A man's scream rose up from the woods again, not far off this time, and by unspoken agreement, they paused to watch the birds fly and whirring conveys from the trees. Not for the first time, Beth wondered if they were lonely. Those things had been men, if they had missed their wives, their mothers, their daughters, and girlfriends, and dominatrixes. Because all men have a dominatrix, right? Or maybe they were happy now, free to rape and kill and eat whomever, free to shit and piss and jerk off in the street. Maybe this world was the one they'd always wanted. Wow, stunning and brave. Trans women. Let's read page 34. His filthy nails dug into her neck. She looked up at him, breathing through her teeth, fighting the urge to shrink into a ball and go away until he had finished what the thing between his legs wanted to do to her. I can take him. I can take this piece of shit. When he was a person, I'd have whipped his ass at pool and gone home with this fucking girl. So I'm guessing he's raping a turf. It's a lesbian. He's raping a lesbian. That's what they fantasize about. That's what Diana Rivers used to fantasize about. And if they can't rape you, they'll kill you. Or they'll just do both. Um, warm drool dripped onto her upturned face. His nails broke skin. Her own breath hissed in her ears, thin and strangled. And she thought, for some reason, of Fran's hesitant mouth on hers, not opening. And of the other woman's soft, husky voice tickling her neck. So she's fantasizing being with actual women while she's being raped by a trans being or a trans-identified male who identifies as a lesbian scumbags uh warm drool let's see you make me feel so delicate he was going to kill her she couldn't hold him off he was going to kill her and if she was lucky he'd do it before he raped her her forehand forearm trembled trembled under his crushing weight you could see his chin and his gnashing teeth and his spit into her eyes stinging and vile spots formed and burst like blackheads in her vision then running footsteps a dull solid thwack of impact the man rolled off her with a gurgling moan. Beth lay gasping in the mud. Fran stood over her, breathing hard, a blood-stained brick crutched, clutched in her hands. Are you okay, Fran asked. Ew. Ew. This is, this is what trans-identified males fantasize about. And here's a excerpt of a turf passage. Fuck, Beth groaned. This is on page 12. Fuck, Beth groaned, rocking back up onto her haunches and settling into a loose, ready crouch. It's the fucking chromosome crusaders. Ah, here come the turfs. Suddenly, the group of girls fell silent. Girls, meaning trans-identified males. They parted as smoothly as a set of drapes, and a thin, pale woman of unremarkable height, maybe 40 years old, strode through the divided group to, toward the bikes. She wore crisp fatigues and a short, tight leather jacket zipped up to her collarbones. On her forehead, dead center above the bridge of her pet, pert little ski slope nose was a stark tattoo, XX. Pussy certified all natural by the daughters of the witches you couldn't burn or whatever Michigan women's music festival bullshit the turfocracy of Maryland bowed down to. So he mentions Mitch Fest. And again, this is what they idolize. They idolize Dana Rivers. Dana Rivers took down Mitch Fest, a trans-identified uh, male who identified as a lesbian so a trans woman lesbian was so angry about this Michigan women's festival for predominantly lesbians and women and all you know natural born women come together and have a music festival in the woods they took it down they campaigned and they crusaded, crusaded against it they riled the troops and the thing was shut down that wasn't enough then he went and he executed murdered a lesbian couple and their adopted son in their own home who they allowed him to come in. The ultimate retribution for for keeping him out of the one thing that he wants and that he can never have, which is to be a female, an adult human female lesbian. They kept him out of the identi of their identity and they had to pay with their lives. And this fucking scumbag Gretchen is sitting here writing a masturbatory piece fantasizing about exactly what Dana Rivers did. This person is writing about rape, murder, mutilation, maiming, destroying women, and justifying it because they're TERFs. Violence against women is a feature of the male existence. Fantasizing about it 
getting hard to it, jerking off to it is a feature. It's not a glitch. This is from a very male psyche that created this piece of fucking dog shit. These deranged, porn sick, blue incel to trans woman pipeline is 